Mm -hmm. um, so the claim I'm going to be refuting today is that logging poses a larger threat on the environment than it benefits the economy. Um, and I'm going to refute the, uh, the two claims that he laid out. Um, the first one being that the country of Honduras maintains a moderate poverty rate and a forest that is greatly suffering. Um, and the second being that agriculture expansion in Nigeria impacts the economy positively and negatively, but either choice leaves the forest in an unhealthy condition. Um, in response to the first secondary claim, um, Honduras isn't the only country suffering. According to the World Wildlife Fund, um, Honduras is on a very long list, including the countries of Brazil, Nigeria, Russia, Indonesia, Cameroon, Kenya, and many more. Um, so to say that Honduras is the only country where the economy and the environment are suffering is really insulting to the other countries on the list, like they were less important. Um, in addition to the 46% um, of Honduras that was once covered in forests that has now been reduced to 9%, um, according to The Guardian. Um, 41, 40 to 61% of timber production in Indonesia um, is believed to stem from illegal logging, but how exactly does one trace what's legal and illegal? 25% um, of Russia's tim timber exports originate from illegal logging, um, and all of this adds up to almost 3 billion euros um, in in uh, timber and wood products that circulate through the European Union um, coming from the Amazon, the Baltic States, uh, the Congo Basin, East Africa, Indonesia, and Russia. Um, all of this is to say that while my opponent was on the right track, he didn't quite get there. Um, the, the issue was much larger than, than he indicated. Um, and in response to his secondary or his second secondary claim, um, agriculture expansion in and of itself isn't the problem. Uh, the problem is that the land isn't being maintained properly so that it can continue to be used. Um, according to the University of Minnesota, um, land can be used over and over and over again through cycles of between three and four years if the land is maintain properly maintained by rotation, which means if you're planting corn over here, or you're farming over here, or you're planting tomatoes over here, whatever the case be, um, all you have to do is rotate those things. Growing one individual crop depletes the soil of certain nutrients, but replenishes others. So if you're making that constant rotation every three to four years, the soil is still good. Soil doesn't expire. Kind of um, so if they were, if the farmers and the ranchers and whatever that were operating on these illegally logged land, um, if they were to just properly maintain the land, it would actually be super beneficial to the countries in question: Nigeria, Honduras, Brazil, Indonesia, Russia, um, because they would continue to be able to be used. Um, so, in conclusion, my opponent was on the right track, but he didn't quite get there. Um, logging, while illegal and done in mass quantities, isn't cool. We can see that. Um, the main thing is giving back to the countries that you're obviously taking from and maintaining the land <coughs> once those loggers leave.
All right. Well, the general claims labeled pretty clearly, and then you talk about the secondary issues. Basically, gets isolated to the two countries, and then you kind of criticize the limitation to those two countries and suggest that the problem's really a lot more widespread than that, and uh, that it's somehow insulting uh, to the rest of the world that we don't agree that lumbering in these ways is really destructive of the environment. I think that the best part of your argument is the notion that it's not necessarily the lumbering, but it's rather the way that the uh, land is utilized after the lumbering has been taken place that potentially creates the problems in these economies and that it's not an inherently uh, dangerous thing to do the lumbering but instead it's inherently dangerous to misuse the land. I think that's a good causality claim and it needs to be developed a little bit more. Uh, your argument seems to be that well basically they, they're they on the right track of proving this argument, they just didn't prove it very well and uh, there's an alternative way to address that issue. I'd skip the first part and develop the second part a lot more. Uh, if there is any um, ability, for instance, to show that those countries where this illegal timber uh, activity goes on have been able to uh, restore the land or regulate its use in some way, I think that would go a ways to advancing your argument and taking the position that, look, I'm not saying that we ought to cut all the damn trees down, but uh, the notion that it's automatically devastating to the economy ignores the fact that it has immediate benefits to some people and that if it's maintained properly, it could have long-term benefits. And I think those are the counterclaims that you ought to be developing. All right.